Hello everyone, Sigmanator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. But it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath. To help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society who are we to choose who lives or dies that's not what we do we help our patients all of them that's a nice sentiment but it won't help when we run out. we're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about if you let these people die that fight is for nothing it's not that simple if we aren't careful about this now we'll end up losing everyone then we'll find a way look we have more fortunate patients right yes and I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. <laughs> and more credits. So we asked them for donations. To get more supplies. For those without credits. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. There we go, problem solved. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Thane. God damn this game. I understand Taliban is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. He was stabbed with a poison blade by a Cerberus soldier during the attack on the Citadel. We can't identify the toxin. We're barely keeping him alive right now. It's some form of neurotoxin. If you could look at our charts... Of course, I understand. Even a general is just one man. Good luck. Alright, so I need to find some information on the toxin. Anything else in here? No. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? All right, so we've got two more additional missions there. Where's Dr. Michelle? Oh, she's not dead, is she? Welcome to Serta. Oh, lots of Metagel upgrades. No, I think we're low on Metagel and synthetic blood, and we don't have enough volunteers. If we could get the rings of a loom from the Salian Nebula, we could declare a cultural crisis. People would have to listen. No, they're not just symbolic. The Asari revere a loom. She wore these rings after learning medicine from a Thane herself. She was like a Dalatress for your people. If we displayed her rings, we'd get more Asari support in the hospitals. Alright, so then you're still, uh, grab. Uh, go to the Presidium. Hopefully some of the people I have missions for are still active. For a second. All right. Oh, he's still here. Oh, yeah, good. I recovered the Book of Plenty's. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Earth Clan, this is a priceless gift. Thank you. You may help my people remember themselves. Excellent. I was worried that uh, that would be. Ooh, a jellyfish. Yes, let's have some of those. Balavon's gone. Uh, Massive quantities of thermal energy via thermal cadets gel. To be used in the cooling system of large. Okay. Oh, wait. Is that what I need for uh, 
items. We'll grab those. Legendarily accurate Prothean inscriptions. Can we use that? Yes, I know the Athena Nebula is off limits, but this a classified project. It needs all the Prothean intel we can find. I haven't found any reliable pictures, but just think. If those statues had something that can help us even today. Alright. Extra mission. Right. Wounded Batarian. Before my security vids bring me a warrant. You're stonewalling me? Those vids would be vital to the warrant. I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect you. Hell of a job you're doing. See those scorch marks? Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. Where were you? Hey, I lost friends too. If you care about finding the Cerberus informants who made it happen, you'll give me the vids. We're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you for that. I have some high-profile customers. If word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC. You think I care about insider trading or electronic smuggling right now? I'm after the bastards who attacked the Citadel. Nobody else. He's got my word. All right. Just... I hope it helps. Here we go. Isn't it better when we all get along? The Liara's father isn't here anymore. If we'd kept digging a few hours longer, we'd have gotten to Obelisk Karza. I know the Hades next is off limits. I'm not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. The Obelisk of Karza was supposed to contain. Prothean language translations, like the Rosetta Stone for Protheans. <laughs> Think of how much it could have helped us understand. I'm oh, getting lots of extra missions. Yay! Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Uh. Increases rounds per magazine. Not rifle stability. For the best in the business, come to Casa. Thank you for shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Thank you for shopping at Nosastra Sporting Goods. You're welcome. Oh, this Liara. People have a right to defend themselves. If you start selling weapons to everyone on the Citadel, CSEC will shut this whole place down. CSEC couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take him to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? Then I'll go to the wards and sell from the back room of Purgatory. People are already scared. If you violate weapons laws, they'll just be scared and trigger happy. Would a bunch of civilians shooting at anything that moves make the Citadel safer? The commander's right. Maybe if the council organizes a civilian militia with training. Otherwise, they'll just panic and get themselves killed. I just... I just want people to be safe. I know, but second-guessing CSEC isn't the way. What if we submit a proposal to start a militia? Okay, that'd be something. There we go, sorted. Uh... If anything I might want, no... Well, possibly. Entry interface, no. Right. Here they are, how you doing? No? Alright then. Rude. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. 
It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. it looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Oh, there's damn Batarians again. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Palavin, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crack help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. You have to show them that CSEC is still in control. They need that security. The commander's right. We need people coming into work every day. We need things to keep running. Otherwise, today's bar fight could be tomorrow's street riot. Yeah, maybe you're right. This feels so damn petty right now. You can't let the small things slide. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody now. Killing him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife, to my husband. And didn't bat an eyelash. He's evil, there's no doubt. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. Wait, what was that? Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in CSEC in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There was a prisoner here. CSEC officer who helped Cerberus. CSEC caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. If you gun that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do, but the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust. Captain Summers. Yes, Commander. Sorry, Commander. I'll shut it down. Thanks. There we go. Yay! Level 52 and a Paragon boost. Bomb or turret? How many this time? Clear the area until you've done a full sweep. You need a way to find their tech and shut it off safely. No, new crime still doesn't have anything. The tech they got off the bodies of a few Cerberus engineers self-destructed when they took it apart. Not much we can do, except pick up the pieces after another turret guns down on mom and her kids. Ah, I think I've already got what you're looking for. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little present Cerberus left for us. Thanks a lot. This is going to save lives. Perfect. All right. If he's a terrorist, he ought to be locked up. He should be shot. Gorex wanted for six bodies. Six. Killed both humans and Batarians. He bombed his own people? Why? He was part of a terror cell. Picked crowded places. Voya, Omega. Doesn't matter to these asshole fanatics who gets blown up. Oh, that's the guy we're already investigating. All right. All right, first we'll head to the... Uh, Citadel embassies. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Right, doesn't look like anything's here for now, at least. 
Oh, no call. Hello. We'll talk to Bailey in a second. Do you have something? This is a problem, boss. Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our code breakers aren't getting anywhere at the moment. I've got our best teams working in shifts on them, but ensuring Citadel systems integrity is just going to take time. If we can get some of their field encryption tools, maybe sample ciphers. I understand. Keep trying. All right, excellent. Oh, let me in. Damn right. Right, what have we got here? Okay. Alright. Eating stable. Ah, that's for the solarium downstairs. Alright, oh, okay. Cerberus Harrier, modified top rifle. Rifles are fully automatic. Cerberus Gunsmiths. Ooh. Alright, let's try that out. Right. Respect to level access codes, it is possible to bypass standard security protocols and track top level diplomatic dispatches. The location of consoles access using suspect ciphers will be uploaded to the Spectre's Omni tool and highlighted for easy detection. That one. A veterinarian patient named Gorak is located. He is suffering from undisclosed but severe injuries. Medical staff from Hotel Memorial Hospital have provided painkillers, but there is no viable long term treatment because veterinarian. Uh, her genemy refuses to share records. No data on Gorek is available prior to his arrival on the Citadel. Uh, CTEC has requested a number of surveillance warrants in an attempt to find evidence that who that would incriminate Cerberus informants. Yep. Uh, civilian militia. Yep. Authorised. Medical supplies. Authorised. Civilian deportation order. Commander Bailey has requested assistance with a con man who is preying on refugees. Man has exploited loopholes to delay his arrest. Inspector authorization would allow CSEC to immediately deport the con man from the citadel. I'm going to hold off on that one because I suspect. <coughs> I suspect I know who that con man might be. Right, let's go talk to Bailey. So many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is going to keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead. And you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Odina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying and crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. You hear anything about your family out there? Not a peep. I always believed I'd get a chance to tell my ex-wife a few things. And my kids on Earth. I was supposed to visit them. 
First vacation in years, but I had to cancel when I got promoted. Don't give up hope, Bailey. Thanks, Shepard. I'm really trying not to think about it. Probably wise. I'll leave you to it then. I'm here if you need me. Cheers, Bailey. You have anything? You look like you've got a thing. No. Alright, let's go down to the docks. Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vaz, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive, but you could catch a few quick shots for me. There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni tool in the refugee camp, I'll be here when you're done. Yeah, you do that. I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. Hey, Kelly. Shepard, you saved my life again. What happened? Cerberus troopers came through here to secure the docks. They lined us all up. Then one of them started asking around for me by name. But they didn't find you. Their record said I went off grid. If I hadn't changed my identity, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. You're very welcome, Kelly. So many sad stories. These people have lost so much. Right. Ah, here we go. Listen, please, we just need more food. I can give you the location of some ruins. Son of a bitch. Protheon huts on Gay Hidden in the Hades Nexus. If you could get past the Reaper patrols, I'm sure you'd find something valuable. That's got to be worth something. I don't believe Please, my family is starving. Come on. Hey. It would be something else. Great shot, Commander. Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are a line's property. Have a little faith, local. I have a little. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm waiting. Waiting. 
All right. But before we do that, let's check this. Important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I take his survival at 50-50. All right. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> with someone on Eratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butchered a colony. Only regret... <laughs> Don't have the strength to... <sighs> I destroyed Eratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. <laughs> Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died. About how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry. If that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <clears throat> if you have any real guilt, show some mercy. Plug this machine and me join my family. All right. Oh, thank All right, is so that done? All right, so where are these panels I need to check? Werner, Werner's here. I knew it was him. Where are you, Conrad? Oh, there you are. Cerberus wants our help. And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander Shepard, it should be good enough for us. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> Commander Shepard. It's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you again. I joined Cerberus too. Conrad, Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. Oh no. I screwed up again, didn't I? Just, I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. I was really stressed out. What can you tell me about your Cerberus contacts? Not much. They wanted me to help recruit people near the medical station. Which was sabotaged while you had everyone distracted. Oh. Oh, wait. 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 No. I'll deal with it. Just don't do anything. <coughs> okay. But I might be able to help you with... Uh, whatever you're doing now that isn't Cerberus. Conrad. I'm building an ancient Prothean dark energy device to stop the Reavers. Can you help with that? Well, I did write my doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology and dark energy integration. Really? Yes. In fact, I may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with construction. Hang on. I have an old contact. Ah, oh, come on, Hossel. Help me out. Sorry. The war has him scared. Hossel? Gavin Hossel, the tech researcher? I did him a favor once. Tell him this is for me. I had no idea you two knew each other. Small universe. Okay, he's forwarding the schematics over. Oh no, it's in an ancient Asari dialect. We need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. Would this collection of Asari matriarch writings help? Uh, yes. Yes, it would. Okay, it's auto-translating. Let's see. Oh, no. The technology falls under an existing patent. I can't actually access the schematics without a license from, let's see, Elkos Combine? 
How did you even? Well, this is great. Okay, here you go. Hope this helps you build that dark energy device. Anyway, good luck fixing the metagel dispensers. I'll just be here, not touching anything. <laughs> and that's why we collect all the things in Mass Effect 1. And it's also why we don't have him deported. I wasn't entirely sure if that was the case, but I'm glad I held off. Refugee camp. Okay. But he's in here, isn't he? Yep. I fixed the sabotage. The metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Hey, Conrad. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. Yeah, Conrad. You helped. I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. Oh, hey, Jenna. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... You saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. Aww. Everyone loves a happy ending. <laughs> I've heard so many sad stories. These people have lost so much. All right. Conrad finally redeemed himself, and he found himself a new girl. Good for you, Conrad. Right. I have some other places to check out. Courtyard. Belia. Joker and Cort <coughs> Oh god damn it. Joker and Cortez are in purgatory. Ah, there's a console in in the hospital. Alright. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. You are welcome, my dude. Right, we're all done down here. Spectre status recognized. Please select One moment. We'll go to Purgatory first, talk talk with Joker and uh, Steve. Now arriving at ward level, Purgatory. How's the hand? Good. Gosh, it's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. It was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Sent me a set of Vortex armor. Man, somebody in supply shouldn't mess that one up. Oh, I've heard those are pretty good. It's great. I'd only be safer inside a tank. That's why Vortex gear costs more than I make in a year. Oh, she, she, she did that for you, my guy. 
Clearly she's into you. Well, look who it is. Hey, Jack. This sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah, maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. Oh, there's Edie as well. <laughs> um, naturally, if, e if Joker's here, Edie's here. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. The irony of this is, is that everybody dances exactly the same way as Shepard does. Suspicious. Hey, Steve. Shepard, you made it. Come have a drink with me. You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. Some of the eye candy in the crowd isn't too shabby either. The eye candy on the stage is fine by me. <laughs> Good. I sure don't need you as competition. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. You are welcome, Steve. Now you go get yourself some of that eye candy. Ah, right, there, there's Edie. I'm curious, what material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. <coughs> All right. So where is Joker? Is he up here? Oh, sorry, dude. You look important. The problem is that our people are terrible at making war. The library at Asha has sacred texts on the Nimbus cluster. All right then. Find works on the art of battle, but the Nimbus cluster has already fallen, and our people are here dancing instead of fighting. Ah, there's Joker. attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? 
Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. <coughs> you know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah! Roger Shepard, destroyer of Reapers and matchmaker to my crew. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. <laughs> Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. All right. Does just uh, Arya have anything new? Probably not. It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. Since we took back Omega, I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. The Blue Sun's blood pack and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? How's the rebuilding going on Omega? People understand the first order of business is shoring up defenses. No one wants another invasion. So they're enduring valiantly, not that they have a choice. Once again, I am Omega. There we go. We'll talk later. I'm sure. Sweet. Okay, now let's get to the hospital. Okay. Uh, where are you? There you are. Console around here somewhere that I need to check. There it is. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Uh, let's have a look. Map. Console in the docking bay area. Oh, I think Dr. Michelle might be dead. Fuck. That sucks, I liked her. I found another spot. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. 
all we are human. human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes, and someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Alright. Where's the last one? Docking. Down the docks. Alright then. Me. Now arriving at docking bay E twenty four, emergency civilian housing. Pretty sure it's over here. Yep, there it is. This is where the last access code was used. What's that, Commander? I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes. After you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power in the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. No. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony. And I can't save my people. But I can end you. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people. But what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I'm uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people. There you go. Shepard, are you alright? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Excellent! Hello. Some more, more fleets for the cause. Right. right. So I need to go back to the Presidium and talk to Celia. Celia, however you pronounce that. Okay. I think we're all done here for the time being. So I need to go off Citadel some of the additional side missions. We should have more systems to access now. Which is always good. Right, Presidium. Oh, I love this game. I know Mass Effect 3 gets a lot of uh, hate thrown at it, but honestly, it's a damn good game. Say what you like about the ending. Aspect 3 overall, damn good. There we go. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help? This place 
is amazing. The colonists, my sister, will be most pleased. Thank you. I am in your debt. You are welcome. All right, let's try talking to Liara again. Hello, Shepard. Nice to see you. Oh, let's see. Alrighty. We've done all we can here now, so we'll head back to the Normandy and call this an episode, I think. Thank you. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an Evil Corps private to lobby? I had a friend in security at Sonax, and there was definitely Prothean tech on Garbug. I know the Valhallen threshold is Reaper territory now, but Prothean tech could help the cruise. Is there a problem? I thought we were fighting the Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm aware this is an unsecure channel. Yes, understood. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Let's get out of here. Kate. Hey, I wondered where you went. What's up? I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. You sound angry. No, just not used to staring down the gun of someone I've worked with so closely. I don't want down, and it's got me... I don't know. Okay. Talk to me. Let's have it. If I hadn't backed down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. I trusted you, and I knew you'd come around. That's all that matters. Main thing is, we stopped the coup, and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, but sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. Later, when you have to live with yourself. Knowing that you acted with integrity, and it matters. You're talking about Adina. He gave me no choice, so I took the shot. Any soldier would have done the same, including you. Okay. Look, Shepard, there's, uh, there's another reason I'm here. Hackett offered me a position, but I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. Yes! I can not imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <sighs> Thank you, Commander. And Shepard, I need you to know that I'll never doubt you again. I get you back. Good to know. Welcome aboard, Major. Aye, aye, sir. Hey, we got Caden back. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is... How will it dispense the energy? And in what form? 
You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Turian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Yay, we get my space waifu in the next episode. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Awesome stuff! So we picked up a bunch of additional side missions, some more priority missions. We uh, got Conrad to hook up with Jenna. And we're on the verge of getting Best Girl back on board. So all in all, I think this has been a successful episode. So with that in mind, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.